Yo, what is up YouTube? Today I'm showing you guys how to make the best two-way facilitator in NBA 2K21 next gen. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you could drop a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It is free and it helps me out a ton. Let's get into this build. So the two-way facilitator at center, I feel like this is the best rec center build in the game. And what I mean by that is the best way to get elite, superstar, even legend, whatever, you know, whatever you want to get to this year, you need to get an A-plus teammate grade. That is the goal. And that really is what this build is going to provide you with. Now, is this the best park build? Is this the best, you know, build for badges? No. But if you like being a center, playing rec, getting A-pluses, especially if you play with randoms, it does not matter. You will be able to get an A-plus with this build by itself. You see, I'm upgrading pass accuracy, I'm upgrading my driving dunk, my standing dunk. That way, if I get a rebound, I'm able to chuck it up court, I'll have bullet passer, I'll have break starter, my passes won't go out of bounds, and they won't be, you know, just getting bobbled whenever a teammate tries to catch him. You see, I'm upgrading the finishing, so if people hit me on the drive, hit me and I get a rebound, I have this standing dunk, I can just go right back up. Defense, I have block, rebounding. I'm upgraded interior defense. Now, you don't need it. I know it just, uh, you know, it helps against pulse moves. But I want to be somebody that can just hold my own in the paint no matter who I'm going against, whether it's a post score or just somebody grabbing rebounds. So if you want to take interior defense off this build, be my guest that you can definitely do that. Same thing with the shooting. I want to have high free throw in case I get fouled. I don't want to be missing free throws with this build. I upgrade my mid-range just so people can't sit in the paint completely. If they just leave me wide open the free throw line, I can pop those. I'm not upgrading the three. I really am not focused on being a shooter with this build, but if you want that aspect, you can have it. Like I said, when I'm making this build, my main goal is to get an A-plus when I'm playing the rec center so I can, you know, get the superstar, get to elite, and get to legend as quickly as possible. And I can just help my teammates win, especially if you have really good teammates. They can do all the offense. You can handle stuff, you know, the paint, the rebounds, the pass outlets, all that good stuff. You see the takeovers you get, rim protecting and glass cleaning. You can't really go wrong with any of these. I went box out and stuff blocks. Two-way facilitator, as you guys can see. A lot of people are rocking this build as a rec center build. The, I know the top rep in NBA 2K21 has the same, no, not same exact build. This is definitely a little bit different than his, but it's a similar build style. You know, he has the pass accuracy. He has the free throw upgraded, and he does it just so he can get those A pluses. Now, like I said, you know, interior defense isn't a must. It just helps with drop steps and post spins. But if you think you're going to have this 7-foot center and you're never going to run in, run up against people that are trying to body you in the paint with post spins, with bag downs, any of that stuff, you definitely will. And if you don't have that interior defense, it is going to be a nightmare. But you could definitely take that off. You could upgrade stuff like 3-point shot, you know, post control and close shot. If you want to be more of an offensive option, but with this build, with me, I'm not looking to, you know, back people down and score. Honestly, when I get a rebound, I either want to go back up with a standing dunk or I want to pass it out to my teammates so they can score. You see with the badges, I'm going with Posterizer Hall of Fame, of course, just equals more dunks. Slithery, Rise Up, you can choose. You could honestly do Rise Up Hall of Fame and Posterizer Hall of Fame if you really just want to get dunks on top of dunks. Same thing, you could put on Put Back Boss just in case you get a rebound and you can just go back up. You'll get that big man standing dunk, <laughs> big man standing dunk animation. I got the four shooting badges. All I care about, if I have hot zones in the mid range and I have hot zone hunter gold, that is going to be enough to hit consistently with this build. Even though I'm not looking to shoot, if they give me the wide open shot, I'm definitely taking it. Clutch shooter bronze, I mean, I'll just throw that on just to have, you know, the game, you know, it's 10 seconds left and you end up with the ball in your hands. That is going to give you a big boost, but you can put on anything like catch and shoot. The playmaking badges, like I said, bullet passer hall of fame is really what separates this build from other center builds. A lot of people have centers that don't have any pass accuracy. They're throwing the ball out of bounds. It's slow. This build is going to be able to grab a rebound and just chuck it all the way down court and it will be there. It'll look like a Kevin Love full court pass if you guys watch the NBA. Uh, back in the old days, Kevin Love's been a little bit out of action as of recently. But he used to throw those dots full court. And then you see, you know, break starter bailout. Relay passer actually would be nice as a center build, especially as a two-way facilitator for rec because people are going to be getting the extra dimer boost if you're doing some pass to assist. Now, finally, with the defense, I got to have brick wall. I'm going to be setting those big bodies. Intimidator, if anyone comes to the paint, I'm shutting that down. Same thing with rim protector. Rebound chaser, I'm going to be grabbing all the rebounds. You could honestly go with this build at 7'2", 7'3". 
if you're not too worried about the driving dunk, I just wanted to have a bit more athleticism, a bit more dunking ability, but you definitely can have it as, you know, 7-1, 7, one, seven, two, seven three. and you see just a lot of extra bad, I mean, 28 defensive badges is just a lot. 8, 4, 13, and 28, the perfect wreck build. Let me know what you guys think. This is Tonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.